What's up, YouTube? Uh, just about to go for a quick run, probably, probably right around five miles. Um, then when I get back, I'm gonna, go, I'm gonna go through my strength routine slash injury prevention, core, all that for you guys. Um, I think it's extremely important and I'll be with you shortly on that. <clears throat> Boom, five miles down, uh, pretty solid day. Uh, kind of got after it a little bit today. Um, anyway, 612 pace for five with some rough terrain and at 7,000 feet with some good elevation gain. Not gonna complain too much. All right, on to the good stuff. There's, I break it up into four phases. Uh, the first pit phase is more of a strength side. Second phase is rehab slash prehab, and that's all band work. And then I do my the third phase is core, usually about 10 to 15 minutes, um, usually, usually right around like 13 or 14 though. And then last but not least, um, just the stretching, rolling, all the stuff that keeps you healthy and then a uh, bonus phase uh, jump in the river for both my refreshment slash a bath all right i'm here at the spot um i'm gonna start with lunges uh, slash lunge hold so i'm gonna hold for somewhere between 10 to 20 seconds and then I'm going to do 12 lunges, uh, reverse lunges on each leg. So here we go. First set, of, first set of lunges down, and then now I'm gonna hit some jump squats. So I usually do anywhere from eight to ten of those. Doesn't sound like a lot, but it really gets tight right up, and definitely feels my glutes. And then the third thing of phase one. The single leg RDL. Uh, 10 on each leg. All these things can be done with added weight. For the sake of the video, just keeping it simple. Okay, so that's the first set done. I do three sets of that. So reverse lunges, jump squats, and RDL. Um, oftentimes I'll do different variations of things depending on what I'm feeling on the day. So I'm gonna not show the next three sets because that'd be boring. On to the band work. First set of band work, I do clamshells. I do 20 on each leg. Um, with that though, oftentimes I'll do the band work at cadence. That's um, so what my trainer had me do, so that's what I do sometimes. So with any of these exercises, you really want to focus on actually contracting the muscles you're targeting. For most exercises that I've shown are glutes, hamstrings, hips. Um, 
you don't really focus on them, you're not getting the full benefit. So if you're taking the time to do all this extra stuff, do it right, get the burn, get the strength. All right, on to the next step is lateral band walks. I usually do three sets, 30 seconds. Last thing is called, I call it waddle. I don't know a good name for it. Essentially, you just spread your legs apart and waddle backwards. Do this for 30 seconds as well. All right, there you have it. That's the end of set three. And like the first set, I do that three times each. So I'll get back with you when I finish the, the next two sets. Okay, on to phase three of four. This is the core routine. Not gonna say a lot about this. Pretty much just continually do abs for 10 to 12, 13, 14, heck maybe 15 minutes. And, and that's that. So I'm gonna put a time warp on for you guys and get at it. Also real quick before I jump into these abs, just gotta kinda share the scenery with you guys. This is uh, where I've been living all summer. final stage of the workout or routine whatever you want to call it for the day uh, basically some light stretching a little lacrosse ball action I usually hit this thing real good on glutes hips and hip flexors and then also roll under my feet and then lastly take my nice orange beat up foam roller and Use it for what it's for, you know, roll out my hamstrings, my T area. I really focus a lot, um, around, not directly on my T band, but under and over it, just because I've dealt with some IT issues. And then from there, just kind of hit whatever feels good, whatever feels necessary. Um, I'm not going to film that part, just use it, like I said, it'd be pretty boring, but just keeping you updated. Getting that nice stretch in. Well taken in the views. So I might ramble a little bit for this uh, last part, but I'm gonna go for it. So I just finished up my rolling, um, super important. But big takeaway I want you guys to have from today and Something I've definitely learned over the years is all the stuff I just did after my run is just as important, if not more important, than the run, the run itself. Um, I've dealt with a lot of injuries over my career. I've dealt with from feet to hamstrings to IT bands to back, like you name it, probably dealt with it, but stuck with it. And something that has finally helped with all that is after my runs, I really do focus on strength, rehab, injury prevention, core, and when I'm done with all that, getting a nice roll and stretch. Um, there's, a, there's nothing worse as a distance runner or an athlete in period than being hurt. So 
And I also want to say, not does it only help with injury prevention, it absolutely helps with uh, running faster. Um, I went from a 26 flat guy for 8K to 24.30 um, national qualifier um, in one summer. And I really want to say that that isn't necessarily from all the running. It's, I, I really was honestly just coming back from injury, didn't really know what to expect, but I hit my strength, my recovery, my sleep, I hit all of it very hard. All my post run activities I hit very hard. And because of that, I was able to have a successful cross country season and was ready to have a very successful outdoor track season. Granted, we've hit some obstacles since then with the whole world going on, but I'm taking a stride and I'm getting ready for whatever comes up. You know, we've even had a few hiccups this summer and it's not phasing me. I'm getting ready for presumably cross country, if not cross country, indoor track and not not indoor track, outdoor track and post graduation, whatever whatever comes, I'm getting ready, staying healthy, getting stronger. So you do the same catching the river all right so update uh usually i get out of work i usually go into work at 6 a.m and come out of work at 4 p.m but today we worked a longer day and i didn't get out until after five and therefore i didn't beat the sun to the river um that's usually my goal is to finish all my activities before the sun disappears from the river. So, yeah, basically what I'm getting at is this is gonna be a cold one, but it is what it is. Still gonna re be refreshing and it's gonna put me to sleep eventually. So, here we go. out here, living my best life. Anyway, long story short, do your post run and you'll get better. Also, don't forget to have fun with it.